2 Timothy 3.16 says, All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. My name is Omboi Mujore, and this is God-breathed. Hi guys, welcome to God Breathed. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever we post new videos. And this is God Breathed and we have done three episodes previously, but we noticed that we didn't do an intro video to it to kind of talk about what is God Breathed, why are we doing this, and that's what we are going to do today. So we started by reading from 2 Timothy 3.16 and it says that all scripture is God breathed. All scripture is God's own breath. God's own breath that he used to create the world. He said, let there be and there was. And every word in scripture is breathed by God. So you can imagine how powerful and how precious that is. So in realizing that, it is something that needs to be shared. Um, when you have something good, even in your house, like a nice painting, you don't you don't hide it under the bed. You put it out there so that anyone who comes in sees that. And it's the same with God's word. It's not even the same. God's word is far much more. It is so beautiful and it is so rich and it is so deep. And that's why we created this platform to kind of be able to share that with each other learn from each other and that's why we started god priest and yeah uh in talking about god's word and how important it is to know it uh i was thinking of psalms 119 verse 11 and it says I have kept your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. You know, we are called to be more like Christ and there is no way we can do that outside of God's word. One, we need to know who Christ is, who God is, what we are called, what we are, you know, what God calls us to in the first place in order to keep in keep our ways straight. So, yeah, it is really important. I'd ask a question, like, if all scripture is God breathed, and if scripture is so important in our day-to-day -day lives, knowing who we are, even knowing our identity, we don't have, you know, when we get born again, we identify ourselves with Christ. It's not because, it's not about who I am, but because of who I am in Christ. And if we can't even know who we are, you see how scripture, how important scripture is. So my question would be, if it is so important, like how much of it do you know? How much of scripture do you know? And I honestly don't have an answer to that myself, but it's a challenge. It's a challenge to me. It's a challenge to you. And yeah, hopefully, even as we continue, we're going to be tackling different different topics from a scriptural perspective, and we're going to um, learn from each other. Please feel free to put your comments in the section below. Um, tell us what you think. Tell us of topics you would want us to talk about even, and we'll look into that. Um, and the other thing I wanted to like mention is it's, it's not just about knowing it. We've talked about how important it is to know it, but it's not enough to know it, but to actually understand it and align our lives with that truth. God's word is truth. And if it is truth, we are supposed to align our lives with it. It's, it's like a compass. It, it's what guides us, it's, it's what leads us even in the decisions we make on a daily basis. So it's not enough just to know it, but to understand it and align our lives with that truth. And even beyond aligning our lives with that truth, it is so important to share that with others. 
you know i've noticed like the more you share something the more you even understand it better and that's something we'd encourage each other like share these videos if you see a video and it has taught you something encouraged you in any way please share it with someone because you never know who needs it you know lives have been changed by simple acts of kindness or, or even just a video so please share um, with your friends and let us yeah do this together so we are also going to be bringing in people it won't be just me like talking at you because that will get boring uh, but we are also going to be having guests tackling different topics we're going to be having panels and it's young people older people everyone because i believe everyone has something to bring to the table like even if you're just two months old in salvation ama you've just read something very small god is able to speak through that so we are going to be bringing different people and we are going to just just celebrate in the richness of god's word you know i was reading um somewhere that um the greek word for like reading your bible is equal to like a feast like the word of god is like a feast and the greek rabbis when they go to teach children about the word they bring honey and they tell them dip your finger in this honey and taste it and they're like how does it taste and it is sweet and then they tell them like that is god's word it is so sweet and it's so rich and we are just called as a family of believers to just feast and celebrate and grow in the richness of that word so that's all about god breathed if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comment section below let us know topics you'd want us to handle on this show yeah and of course please if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed please subscribe to our channel and share our videos and yeah looking forward to growing with every one of you okay see you next time bye bye ciao